Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is the Wrestling Wrap Up, a handful of stories brought to you in one easy to watch video. So let's get started. Now, this first one is a little bit of a spoiler for the Mae Young Classic and Round One. So there was a match in Round One with Marty Bell taking on Rachel Evers. According to this week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Marty Bell was supposed to win the match, but halfway through the match, WWE officials called down to ringside in the referee and said, hey, Evers is winning this match. Apparently, this was the worst match of the tournament and Marty Bell botched everything. WWE officials felt like Marty Bell shouldn't be going further on in this tournament and halfway through, they said, screw the script, screw the plan and Rachel Evers walked out victorious. So WWE wanting to sign a bunch of women from this tournament, I highly doubt they're offering Marty Bell a contract. So we all know that Bullet Club shirts are at Hot Topic. Every Hot Topic in North America should have Bullet Club merchandise sent to them by July 26th. Now, whether those shirts stay in stock or not, that's a different story because these shirts are going haywire, jumping off the shelf faster than the workers can put them on the shelf. As far as other New Japan merchandise, I am hearing by September there should be Los Ingobernables de Japón merchandise in Hot Topic stores, as well as the New Japan t-shirts, the black shirts with a red and yellow logo. Representatives from Hot Topic have said that if those shirts go well, then they'll just keep adding more and more, and then maybe they'll have even more New Japan shirts in Hot Topic than they actually do WWE. So with Jeff Jarrett coming in as pretty much the head guy in Global Force Wrestling and Impact Wrestling now, he's kind of done some changes to the contracts. It's around that time when Global Force Wrestling or Impact Wrestling tries to re-sign a bunch of their guys and some guys have opted to sign back with a company and some guys have opted not to sign back with the company because of one issue with the new contracts. Jeff Jarrett has had a clause added to all Global Force Wrestling contracts where they get 10% of every wrestler's outside bookings. Plus, if Global Force themselves sells merchandise with a wrestler's likeness, they don't have to give that wrestler a cut at all per the new contracts. As we saw over the last couple of months, former TNA World Champion Magnus returned to the company as the Global Force Wrestling Champion. He did drop the championship to Alberto El Patron, and with that, he is now done with the company. He had no intentions of re-signing with the company, but was working on a handshake deal just so he can drop the title. Unlike the Singh brothers, who were the former Global Force Wrestling Tag Team Champions, instead of actually working with the company to drop the belts, they opted with signing with the WWE last year with the Cruiserweight Classic. So Global Force Wrestling has announced that in August, they will be doing some actual house shows or live events, whatever you want to call them. During a media call yesterday, Jeremy Borash did announce that both John Morrison and his fiance Taya will be actually making their debut for the company on those shows. And now I know what you're going to ask. What about their deals with Lucha Underground? Because the Lucha Underground deals are also tied in with AAA, this is doable. AAA and Global Force Wrestling do have a working agreement together and we have seen other Lucha Underground stars like Drago actually appear on Impact Wrestling Television. Now, I don't know exactly what this could mean as far as the issues going on right now with Morrison, Taya, and AAA, but hopefully they can do these shows and hey, maybe something comes out of this where they want to get out of their contracts with AAA and Lucha Underground, they get out of those contracts and work their way over to Global Force. I know WWE is interested in Morrison, but if they want Morrison, would they be willing to sign Taya as well? But that's going to do it for this episode of the Wrestling Wrap-Up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on all the stories we talked about today. And as always, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe here on YouTube.